All right. So let's talk about um, increasing the contrast on your scan to get an image that is good enough for you to start to work with for screen print. So when you scan an image, chances are it will look something like this. Um, I like to use the crop tool to trim it down to size. So you can kind of do that. Sometimes if it's a very small trim, you can kind of tap it with the arrow keys and then it will remember and lock on the other end. So that's a good way to do the sort of micro adjustments. Snap that back in. Another really useful tool is the straighten tool. This is a little bubble level here. So if you scan something a little bit crooked, you can click and drag with this guy and it will make it straight. Once you've trimmed it down the way you want it to be, just click the check mark. All right, so next up I wanna go ahead and I wanna make the whites whiter and I wanna make the blacks blacker. Now these processes will work best if you have a high contrast scan. So the key here is to make ink your lines and to scan something that already has dark lines and so we don't have to do quite as much tweaking. So I'm going to go under here under image. Actually I'm going to go first I'm going to put this in grayscale if it isn't already in grayscale because at this point I don't actually need color. So I'm going to go to image mode grayscale and that will drop out all of the color information from this piece. Then I'm going to go into image adjustment levels and what you're going to see here is a histogram. This is a map of all the lights and darks in that image. So if I drag this little black slider, it'll make the darks darker. If I grab the little white slider, it'll make the whites whiter. Do you see how that changes as I slide it in? Now, of course, if you drag it too far, you'll start to get washed out. You'll lose information. But the truth is, is we don't actually want a lot of information in our whites. We actually want, um, I don't want to see the crease in that paper. Right, so I want to actually kind of like lighten it up until the crease is gone. And then I want to darken it up until I have pretty high contrast. The goal here is I want something that is dark enough for me to shoot directly to the screen. Now I still have some pencil lines here. I probably would benefit from having erased those beforehand, but I can tweak them a little bit and tell them that they're lighter, but see how that starts to impact the dark layer. So, I can do a little bit of erasing on that, and I probably should. I should probably erase those and then scan this again, but we'll work with what we have today. Um, so that is increasing the contrast on an image.